variety, Tim, through her passion for quilting, she touched so many. Karen Krause is also remembered as compassionate, making what's planned so fitting. 3 News Now's Ron Johnson reports on the sale in her memory. Here's just a small sampling of what we have, but we have about 200 um, plus. Carol Krause's basement is full of fabrics, some in bolts, some in boxes, all from her mother-in-law. Projects that our Karen had put together for um, herself to do at some point. She loved quilting and spent lots of time making them at a quilt store she ran in Council Bluffs for 22 years. But the years that truly expanded her impact came after a breast cancer diagnosis. That's when she discovered the nonprofit Wings of Hope. It supports those fighting cancer. Carol remembers a conversation Karen had with another patient. She was talking with somebody and they said that they were going to have to stop their treatment. And Karen wasn't going to let something like that happen. It gave her the idea to use something she loved to help others in the cancer fight. She was also able to understand the struggles that people go through and contribute to that. And so she used her passion for quilts to raise money for that. She worked with the nonprofit for over 30 years, each year raffling off a quilt she designed and sewed. Over the years, that quilt raffle has raised more than $65,000 for the organization. So she's just the perfect example of um, how one individual can make a difference in the lives of so many. This past spring, Karen lost her battle. But true to her spirit of helping people, her wish was for all of her materials to be sold. The proceeds from the sale will benefit Wings of Hope, so Karen's legacy um, can go on to continue to help others. Random cuts of cloth stitched into something beautiful, handiwork that will carry on Karen's legacy of caring. In Council Bluffs, Ron Johnson, 3 News Now. The sale at the Marion High School Performing Arts Center from 9 to 4 on Saturday. It's a cash only event.